Hi right, guys, hope you're doing well on that. Today I would like to talk about a certain film called Kung Fu Panda 4 and my own thoughts about it. So I went with my friends on Friday and my own thoughts about it were 50-50. A uh, few, few points are good, a few points are bad. So yeah, let's get to it. So my own personal thoughts about the film is, is okay. My first one would be, is the film itself. Now, compared to the first three films, they were gold, apart from number three. I think number three is probably one of the weaker ones. But the fourth one, it's just short. I think it was like an hour, an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. It's just short. I felt it was short. I felt it was short because every scene was fast, 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 fast paced. And I was like, relax a bit, man, relax. I was just like, why are they doing this? Why are they doing it too fast? Do you know what I mean? And I was like, you need to slow it down a bit more. And it wasn't even like that on the first three. So I don't know why it's doing it on the fourth film that they're... Secondly, an issue was, is the feeling itself and the chameleon. I felt for her character wasn't developed enough, um, in my opinion. I just felt like it was rushed. The fight scene itself at the end was, was good, but it could have been more determined and more more on it that makes sense more fight scenes we didn't really have that time think have thoughts about her or her personality a lot more deeper than it with them we should have as viewers she was just the worst one out of the bunch out of the feelings out of the whole series um, which was quite disappointing really especially the trailer came out promising that this feeling was the most dangerous one out there bullshit um thirdly paul the main character, I just felt like he downgraded himself a little bit. Let, let's be real. Like, he's himself per usual. It's Paul, isn't it? The main guy, main person since 2008. Paul, the character himself, has grown a lot for the series. Um, especially the third one. To be a Dragon Warrior. I thought he was actually a Dragon Warrior in Kung Fu Panda 3. But turns out that it was just short of time. Because in number 4... He's not going to be Dragon Warrior anymore. I was like, what? I don't get that. Um, his master himself said, no reason why he can't do it anymore. I was like, well, should have explanation why he can't do it anymore. Another bad point I'd probably say is the jokes. Now, the one that caught me the most is where when they try to go past all the reptiles on the floor or snakes, whatever and they try to tiptoe around it and they can't, they can't make a noise or whatever. Paul was about to sneeze, yeah? And the new character, she, she put her, her fingers up his nose and then, yeah, he's done a, a fart joke. And do you know what? It's, it's just shit. How, are you, how old is that going to be funny, yeah? Yeah, maybe like four to five year olds, yeah? But it was grown adults or bigger children out there watching a film. How is that meant to be funny? Do you know what I mean? Like. It's just a far joke, it's just a data term now, isn't it? Like, it's nothing special about it. Um, but yeah, I think the jokes are trying to be f too hard, um, which I didn't like, it just felt uncomfortable. Um, the few good points about the film is where the visuals are good. The visuals are like bright, vibrant, and every scene is like Kung Fu Panda, isn't it? So you come to expect it, really. Only a little issue, I'd probably say, I wish they had like Puss and Boots 2 graphics like Spider-Man first because I just felt like the graphics were really good and it's fine, but I like to have a change. Do you know what I mean? It's just stale for me now. I think the story itself is not bad. I just think it's just felt a bit flat. Yeah, and I think another bad thing as well, it's just too predictable. Uh, we knew it was coming. Like the new character herself had a bad background and similar similarities like Paul and then the working together and then she betrays him. You know, it's too predictable. Some films done that already. Do you know what I mean? So it's nothing new here. Would you think that they would have made Kung Fu Panda 5? Well, possibly it could happen. It could happen because um the box office has reached over three hundred thousand dollars. Do you really need a fifth film of Kung Fu Panda, where's it going to go next? It's just, it just will ruin the franchise. Well, it already has ruined the franchise, so I don't know why it's a good idea to do it. So, 
I think just leave it as that, I think. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of fucking seeing sequels every year. The same thing, the same plot, same characters, changing a lot of things. People don't even want it. Like, flipping... Just too many sequels, man. Like Disney, man. And it's DreamWorks for a start. DreamWorks, DreamWorks have their own thing going on, do you know what I mean? But why are they making sequels and that again? Do you know what I mean? And recently, the films out of DreamWorks are just crap. Like, I'm 26 soon, so obviously it's not really um, age, age range, but I've grew up with DreamWorks, and I just think that's kind of disappointing. I think Toy Story 5 is one of the bigger ones. I just feel like Toy Story 4 was actually a good film. I think some people were disappointed of it because it was unnecessary, and Toy Story 3, how it ended, was perfectly. I felt like... Number four was just a cash grab, and I just feel it was unnecessary to make, but I, I try to understand why they make it on number four, number four, um, to explore the new adventure of Bonnie and everyone else. Yeah, it was a solid film, but I just felt like it wasn't the first three golden trio of the films. But when I hear about number five, I just felt, why? Like, apparently it's coming out in 2026, but I'm not too sure about that one yet. And it does come out, it will make a ton of money, but the question is, will people like it? And this is why sequels nowadays are getting tired to them. It's predict predictable and it's like, I just think out of the era of the films, the probably 1980s films, probably class golden era of films because it's just unique and people are not expecting what comes next. I think 2000s were golden era films as well, the noughties. And then 2010 onwards, it started to change shift. Walt Disney once said, you can't top pigs with pigs. You just can't. You can't just keep repeating sequel after sequel after sequel, expecting people expectations to be more happier. You can't. Just make something new, man, out of, out, out of original, do you know what I mean? And people might like it, but I think it's just fair and scared to, to make a change. Anyway, what you thought about the film? Let me know in the comments down below. Or... Also, what do you think about sequels nowadays? Anyway, in a bit. Bye.